Hello, my beautiful earth signs. How are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This reading is for Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. These are the B weeklies. Uh, this reading runs from the 15th of the month to the first of the upcoming month. I am posting these and starting to record and post these on the 12th. So these may be affecting you now, or they may not affect you for a little while yet, but they are definitely on the way. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. I certainly do appreciate the time you take to watch these videos. Thank you so much for your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I certainly do appreciate it. Uh, for those of you out there that wish to subscribe, please make sure that you click on the notification uh, button and the little bell so that you will be immediately notified when I post my videos. My website uh, location is in the description box below. There will also be timestamps below for each of your signs. And um, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, I will commence those again. Um, or actually, I, sh I should say I'm getting the schedule uh, up and running by the 15th. So if any of you would like to schedule, on, uh, they will, uh, that schedule will be available on the 15th. Uh, as far as my website, if you would like to get a subscription to my website to get access to all of the extended readings for the month, uh, for all signs, for a low monthly fee, you can certainly go there and support me and my channel in that way as well. All right, guys, we are going to go ahead and we are going to get started with the beautiful Capricorns. Hi, Cappies. How are you? Um, this is going to uh, be for the Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and Capricorn Rising. I'm going to do this um, particular reading just a little bit differently, and you will see what it is when I start laying out the cards here. So what are the energies for Capricorns for the next couple weeks? Capricorns, Capricorns, Capricorns. What is the energy that Capricorns need to be aware of? What is the energy that Capricorns need to be aware of? That energy that they need to address or let go of? That energy they need to address or let go of in some way, shape, or form as part of their past so that they can move forward into their future? What is that energy? For Capricorns. What is that blocking energy for Capricorns? There we are, Caps. What is your current state? Where are you at right now? What are the energies you need to be aware of? What is going on in your life? What energies are going on that you have to build off of right now? Here they are. What is causing a conflict with these energies from the outside? What is causing a conflict from these energies from the outside? Here it is. And what is the advice for Capricorns? What's the outcome advice? What is the outcome advice for the Capricorns? Outcome advice for the Capricorns. There we go, Capricorns. All right, Capricorns, the first card we have for you as it relates for the next couple weeks is the Eight of Cups. So Capricorns, the energy that I'm picking up here, this is energy that's blocking you. This is energy that needs to be addressed. This is energy that you must do something with it in order for you to move into your better future. Okay, this is what is going on here. So Capricorns, there's something that perhaps you're hanging on to that you need to let go of. This could be a bad job, a bad relationship, a toxic relationship, an agreement that is no longer working for you, a contract that is, is past its sell-by date. This could also be Capricorns uh, traveling back and forth to spend time with somebody. And perhaps this is something that you need to give up or somebody else needs to give up around you. But this is what needs to be addressed. This is in your past. Okay, this is what needs to be handled in your past to allow you to move forward into the future. For some of you Capricorns out there, there may have been somebody that left you. You may have left them. And now what you need to do is you simply need to release the baggage of that past energy in order to move yourself forward. There may be somebody in your life, Capricorn, that is not letting you go. They are constantly uh, trying to keep you trapped or keep you stuck 
by making you responsible for their own um, their own actions. Capricorns, it's time for you to be responsible for your own actions and it's time for others to be responsible for their own actions. Okay, so just be aware of that, but that is what is coming up here. So what is the current state that you're dealing with right now, Capricorns? Capricorns, right now you've got the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands for Capricorns here is that you really don't know who you can trust, Capricorns. You may have gotten some information that you don't know whether to believe it. Um, maybe, you know, maybe if you had proof, you would believe it. Um, in this case, Capricorns, I do believe that your proof is coming to you probably within the next nine days. If there's something that you've been trying to make happen or something that um, you're trying to figure out or you're trying to find out, that is certainly coming through here. For other Capricorns out there, you may be hanging on to something that is way past its sell-by date. And you maybe have your friends around you saying, Capricorn, buddy, girlfriend, it's time to move on. I mean, you really have to let this go. This is not something that's serving your highest good. So that could be what's happening here as well. But there is this desire to um, be a little bit defensive. You know, you're anticipating possibly some difficulties that are about to happen in your life for whatever reason. And this is certainly coming up here. And this is this is the energy that you're dealing with right now. Either you're defensive with somebody or somebody's defensive with you. So that could be what's happening. What is your interfering energy? What's crossing you? What's, what's causing you to feel just a little bit, almost like you can't get your footing as it relates to this particular reading? You do have the Queen of Pentacles. This could be a female Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo doesn't have to be female, it could also be male. This could also be the energy of the pentacle suit, which is all about money. This could also be uh, Capricorns. I am definitely sensing for some of you Capricorns out there, you're already feeling Uranus ingressing into Taurus. As you know, Uranus is on the last degree of uh, Aries. And uh, that means that Uranus is within orb, affecting your fifth house. If you are, for example, a Sag Cap Cusper, perhaps if you're within the first decan of Capricorn, you're already starting to feel little snippets of this Uranian unpredictable energy coming at you. Uh, there might be other reasons. Maybe you had a fight over money, a fight over property, a fight over motherhood. This could certainly be what's going on for some of you Capricorns out there. Perhaps some of you Capricorns out there are looking for a good mother for your children. This could also be happening as well. But the only way that you are going to find that woman, the only way that you are going to find that other person, doesn't have to be a woman, it could be a man, but the only way that you're going to be able to find that person that wants to love you and nurture you is to let down your guard and to walk away from something that no longer serves you. Caps, people know when you're playing them they know when you are hiding stuff from them. It, you know, caps are pretty good at hiding stuff like that. And generally caps aren't even like that. Um, most caps are very, you know, uh, forefront. They're very dedicated. They're very forthright. Uh, they're very truthful for the most part. But there are times that, you know, caps can sometimes go through these phases and, you know, you're, you're, People can just tell Capricorns they know when you've been playing them for a fool. And so um, this person or these people may have picked up on that and now they're holding your feet to the fire. And because they're holding your feet to the fire, you, you are, you've got this weird defensive energy around you. So that could be definitely what's going on here. Now Capricorns, you could be holding somebody else's feet to the fire, perhaps there's something here where there was an agreement relative to money or relative to self-value. Maybe somebody agreed to um, behave a certain way or do a certain thing for you, or they agreed to help you out financially in a certain way, or stick to a budget or some sort of um, business plan or something like that. And what happened was they just kind of decided to do their own thing and now you're put in a precarious position to having to have to defend yourself for whatever reason so just kind of be aware of that particular energy but this could be a, a 
Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo female or male that is um, that is causing some serious issues right now in your life and it's causing you to be very defensive. Maybe you're trying to walk away from this person, but you can't. Or maybe they're trying to walk away from you, but you won't let them because you want to control a situation. Okay, they might be smothering or you might be smothering them. But there's definitely some of this energy coming through here. So just... Um, However, this makes sense for you, Capricorn. So what is your advice, Capricorn, relative to the advice I've already given, plus, you know, the type of outcome energy that you're working with as, you know, if you keep going in the same direction that you're going now without making any changes or, you know, the types of energies that you're about to confront here within the next couple weeks. You do have the high priestess. The high priestess, Capricorn, is someone who is psychic. They are... Um, they're a psychic, they're a healer, they're um, a spiritual leader. They could be a Pisces or an Aquarian. Their name could start with a B or a J. Their last name could start with a B or a J. But that is definitely coming up here. You are keeping secrets, Capricorn. This person may be keeping secrets about you or from you as well. Okay, so there's something going on with a lot of secrets in the lives of the Capricorns right now. Um, please make sure that the secrets that you are keeping are not to manipulate or coerce anyone Capricorn if you have a secret that you're keeping um, it will be found out I just heard I just like literally it just kind of came in that the secret is 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 going to be out for the whole world to see and um, make sure you take steps now because Capricorn if we think about secrets that people have or maybe if somebody's keeping a secret from you then the secret truth will out okay secrets always come out okay so prepare yourself for when that secret comes out and how you're going to handle it and what you're going to do because there's something happening here within the next two weeks that is probably going to be very um, eye-opening for you or eye-opening for somebody else but for right now it it is a secret it definitely is a secret but I am definitely sensing there is going to be a revealing of this secret probably three to four days after the new moon in uh, Taurus. And this is going to be the new moon in your fifth house of romance, children, and creativity. So this certainly could have something to do with any of those areas of your life. And it's going to be about three to four days after that new moon. So you're looking at about the 18th to the 19th of the month. So get ready for that secret to come out and start preparing yourself now. All right, Capricorns, I hope you like this reading. I wish you much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste. Hello, my beautiful Taurians. How are you? Uh, it is B. Thank you so much for joining me. We are going to get right into your reading, Taurus. So, Taurus, what are the energies that you need to let go of? What are the energies in your past that are keeping you stuck or keeping you stagnated. So what is going on with the Taurians here? What is it that needs to be addressed for you? Taurus, 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 Taurus. Here is your energy, Taurus. What is the current energy that you're dealing with right now, Taurus? What is the current energy that you're dealing with right now? Here is your current energy. What energy is kind of you know, coming at you from the outside, it might be causing interference, it might be causing assistance, it depends on what it is, but what is the energy coming in from the outside? There it is, Taurus. And what is the outcome, or what is it that, um, what type of advice is there for you, uh, Taurus, as it relates to this two weeks? Here it is. It could be advice, it could be outcome, it really could be anything. So, that's just kind of the direction we're going here. So what is in your past that you need to let go of or something that you need to address in your past in order for you to move forward into your future? You do have the nine of, I'm sorry, the eight of swords. So Taurus, you need to let go of the feeling of being trapped. You need to get out of your mind. There could be some things going on in your life right now where you're just thinking too much. Taurians don't normally do that. Taurians are more in the moment. They like to really live in the moment. They don't like to worry too much, but you guys do have your moments where you do worry. So what this card is telling us right now for the next couple weeks, if there's something you're worried about, just let it go. 
don't, if you're worried about losing weight, if you're worried about gaining weight, if you're worried about what you eat, if you're worried about your love life, your work life, your, your spiritual life, whatever it is, just let it go. Just absolutely let it go. Every worry in your little worry bank, empty it out and just let it go. Just don't even mess with it. Do something you love, whatever that may be. Okay. There could be something in your life, Taurus, where you are keeping yourself stuck or somebody's keeping you stuck as well. So please be aware of that particular type of energy. You are all tied up. So this could be for some of you Taurians out there that I just heard for some of you Taurians out there, you're actually scared of commitment. It's almost like you really want commitment from someone or with someone, but you're also scared of it for some reason. Like there's some sort of commitment that you're scared of. So what you do is you, you get yourself all tied up in a ball and you, you can't even move. It's like you're immobile. And then you just go to work and you, you tie yourself to the desk and you just work constantly or you sleep or you just try to escape it and do other things, go out and, you know, take care of your yard or whatever. Okay. But this is definitely coming up here that you've got a lot of mental chatter and you're keeping yourself in that position that really just does not serve you. Okay. So you've got to let go of that, you know, that really mental, um, mental mind game that you're playing with yourself because honestly it's not worth it and you're worth more than that Taurus you really do need to get rid of this type of energy because you know you're you need to get ready for this Uranus energy to come into your sign and changes are among you I mean this is something that is going to be it's going to be knocking your socks off you want to go in with you want to go into this time frame with Uranus going into your sign strong. You do not want to go in with mental incapacitation. So please be aware of that. So you just kind of need to let go of that right now, Taurus. So what is going on as it relates to your current energy? Your current energy, Taurus, is the two of wands. I am sensing for some Taurians out there, like I said before, there's a commitment, there's a contract, there's something, there's a decision that needs to be made. And you simply don't know if you want to commit to this decision. There's nothing wrong with that, Taurus. You don't have to move um, all at once. Do what you do best, step by step by step. This is what you want to do. What is it that you envision? What is it that you want to see in your partnerships, your business partnerships, your work partnerships? Okay, your ideas, the ideas that you have for your world. All right. Once you release yourself from this mental incapacitation, then you can start moving forward to this two of wands energy, which is more about, you know, really kind of looking at what is in your life and making the best with what you have so that you can move forward strong. Okay, so that is definitely what's coming up here. So what is crossing you, uh, Taurus, as it relates to the energies coming in possibly from the outside? You do have the 10 of cups, Taurus. So Taurus, this is either helping you or hindering you. In a lot of cases, um, I would ask your family to assist you in helping you to understand a situation, ask a friend, just really confide in somebody that may help you as well. For others of you out there, your family may be causing issues as it relates to you wanting to move forward with something. Perhaps your family's giving you a hard time because they don't want you to move away or your family is giving you a hard time because you were going down one direction, but now you want to go down another direction. This is what is leaving you a little bit, a little bit incapacitated. Okay. And this is why you need to get rid of that energy. Taurus, it's, it's all about you for the next seven years with Uranus in your sign. You must make decisions for you and only you. Yes, your family is important. Yes, your wife, your children are important. But Taurus, Taurus, you're, you are typically like um, some of you, not all of you, because I don't want to lump all of you in the same category. But you're a lot like, you know, when, you know, when mommy's mad, I mean, everybody's mad. When mommy's in a bad mood, everybody's in a bad mood. That's the way Taurians kind of are. So Taurus, you've got to do what you can do to make sure that you are keeping yourself in that positive attitude so that you can move forward. So I am just sensing here that for some of you out there, family may have been causing an issue on something that you wanted to move forward with, 
or family maybe assisting you with a joint venture with somebody or you just need to go to your families and your family and your friends in order to make a decision about something this could be something about moving as well some of you might be going on a trip with family as well so just kind of be aware of that particular energy maybe you're getting a vacation home it really could be anything like that for some of you taurians out there you're looking off into your future and you're asking yourself am i ever going to get married am i ever going to be with anybody am i always going to be alone I mean, seriously, that's the thing, Taurus, you got to let that go because the thought is keeping you stuck here. Okay. And you have options because you're here, but you've got to let this. I want this. I want this. I want this. I want a family. I want this. When is it coming? When is it coming? When is it coming? Let it go, Taurus. When it's meant to be, when the timing is right, it will show up. Okay. In the meantime, enjoy yourself, live your life, get yourself out of mental entrapment. You don't need it. You need to be strong for this next seven years, okay, for all of us, actually. So what do we have going on as it relates to your outcome or something that um, is an area of advice for you, Taurus? The moon. So Taurus, when we have the moon, uh, this definitely could be a Pisces, Scorpio, or a Cancerian person in your life. Um, something is going on with this person, Taurus, that seems to be um, illusory. Um, something about them is very, very mysterious. I would certainly say, Taurus, do not underestimate this person. They know exactly what they're doing. They may come across like they're a little bit, you know, you know, flighty, you know, or, or, or just not all centered. But they probably know more about a situation than you do. Um, and not from the perspective of actually having factual information. They're actually reading the energy. They know who they can trust and who they can't. And Taurus is, for some of you, I am actually getting that they think that they can't trust you. Uh, for some Taurians out there, maybe you can't trust them, all right, because there is some sort of weird deception with this. So Taurus is, I would certainly um, make sure that you are not being deceptive with other people. Okay, so please do not be deceptive with other people. Um, don't let other people be deceptive with you. Um, again, this could simply mean something from the subconscious, from, from something that you buried uh, deep inside you from a very, very long time ago is coming up right now and you must address it. It may have something to do with this feeling of being trapped. So that could be what's happening. But alternatively, there could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that is of great significance to you. It could be this family member that's helping you with this new venture to move forward to, you know, um, make a decision regarding something. Or it could be this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio who is going to be assisting you in releasing this mental burden that you've been carrying around for a really long time. All right, Taurus, I hope that you like this reading. I wish you much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste. Hello, my beautiful Virgos. How are you? We are going to get right into your reading. Yes, I'm still doing the black and whites. I've gotten so many positive, uh, feed, um, positive feedback on, on the black and white. So I decided to stay black and white for a little while until I get my new camera. So who knows how long that's going to be as long as I can get keep getting these videos uploaded and posted. But we are going to go ahead and we're going to get right into this for you beautiful Virgos out there. So Virgos, what is the uh, back story? What's the back energy? What do you need to let go of in order to move forward into your future? Um, what will become aware to you that you need to let go of here in the next couple weeks? Virgos. Here we go, Virgos. What is the current energy that you're dealing with, Virgos? What is the current energy that you're dealing with? What is the current energy that you're dealing with, Virgos? Here's your current energy. And what is crossing you, Virgos? What is what's coming in from the outside that is causing some sort of energetic shift in your life? So what is going on there? Here it is. And what is the outcome, um, Virgos? Or what is the area of advice for you? What's the area of advice for Virgos? Here it is. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on. So what is in your past that needs to be addressed or released? You do have the Four of Cups. Virgos, what's going on here is that for some reason, um, probably over the last past 
you know, four months or so, uh, there has been some energy around you where you have been really lackadaisical, you've been really lazy, or somebody else around you has been really lazy, okay? You've got something in front of you, you've got three people in front of you, you've got three items in front of you, maybe you have three children in front of you, and you're missing a lot of opportunities that are going on around you for whatever reason. You need to speak up, Virgos, about what it is that you want, and you need to be very consistent. There are um, either people are people may be ghosting you, Virgos, or you might be ghosting somebody else. So basically, this means that you know maybe they're trying to get a hold of you, and they're trying to, um, you know, just want to talk to you to work things out, or you want to talk to somebody to work things out, but you just don't know the right time, the right place, you you feel like you're in this weird cycle of being stuck with, if I call them, are they just going to ignore me? Or maybe they're in a cycle where they're saying, well, if I call the Virgo, are they just going to ignore me like they always do? So that is definitely coming up here. It's like you're bored and you're sick and tired of the same old, same old. You want to bring something new into your life. But the only way you can bring something new into your life, Virgo, is to let go of the stubbornness that was created from you being in a situation that you didn't particularly appreciate um, in the past. So something in the past really didn't sit well with you for whatever reason, and you're a little bit angry about that, but because you're holding on to that anger, you can't move forward, and there's these beautiful opportunities all around you. For some of you Virgos out there, this could be where somebody wants to give you another chance, or you want to give somebody else another chance. Okay, and it just seems to me that um, maybe now is not the right time. Maybe now is the time for you simply to meditate on it. Make sure that if you are going to go back into a situation, whether that is love, you know, health routines, romance, this is for every area of life. I am not going to keep it just in one area. So use this information and apply it in whatever area makes sense for you. But whatever area this is, okay, maybe you simply just need to take a break and make sure whatever it is you want a second chance with, a third chance with, a fourth chance with. I'm sensing for some of you Virgos, you want a fourth chance, all right? Or somebody else wants a fourth chance. But if you're going to do this, you got to make sure that your expectations are clear and that, that the other person or the other entity is willing to meet those expectations. Also, Virgo, you got to make sure the other person's expectations of you are clear so that you can make sure that you meet their expectations within reason, okay? Because it appears there was something going on before that miscommunication and uh, expectations where it was all just totally, it was kind of effed up. And either you were being really lazy with them or really selfish or they were being really lazy or selfish with you but something is coming up here that you're just kind of like, I just don't even know if I want to try anymore. You need to let that energy go, Virgo. Okay, so what is your current uh, energy right now? Virgos, your current energy right now is the Ace of Pentacles. So Virgos, you might be helping somebody out with a loan, a mortgage. Um, you might be asking for a loan or a mortgage. You might be getting a gift or you might be giving somebody a gift of money. This could sim this could be something as simple as, oh, okay, honey, I will go ahead and I will give you, you know, a $20 more in allowance than maybe I've done in the past. I just heard for some of you Virgos, you're buying your, your daughter or your son a new car. I don't think it's a new car. I, th I think it's almost new is what I think it is. But um, definitely coming up here for some of you Virgos out there, you're doing something different with your backyard. You're, you want to update your backyard. You want it to be more conducive to your lifestyle. So that is certainly coming up here. So some of you Virgos out there may say, I'm done. I'm done mowing lawn. I don't want to mow lawn anymore. I, it just, it just, I, I'm just done with it. I'm, and then like you put pavers over the entire backyard and you've just, you've got nothing but a big back porch. Okay. That could be going on for some of you Virgos out there, but there is some sort of gift. There is some sort of offer that is coming in. And I find it interesting that in the past you got an offer and now you're getting another offer. So I'm sensing Virgos, either somebody's giving you another offer or you're giving somebody else another offer. This could also be for some of you Virgos out there that you gave somebody something and now you might be taking it back or or something like that. It just seems like it's almost like you gave somebody a cup of love, but they didn't really appreciate it. 
So now it's like they have to return something back to you. It's almost like when you break up with somebody, which I find is interesting because one of my friends is actually doing this and I'm pretty sure he's a Virgo. But um, yeah, getting the ring back. Okay, like if you got engaged to somebody and you're asking for the ring back or the ring gets thrown at you or something like that. But there's something about something very, very valuable being handed to you. Okay. Or you handing something valuable to some somebody else. So some of you um, may have turned down a marriage proposal or someone may have turned down a marriage proposal with you. Um, but uh, that could be what's going on here. And you just kind of need to let go of that energy so that you don't... Um, you don't harbor that angst towards anyone, nor build up that angst in your own personal soul. Okay. So what is the energy crossing you Virgos? Wow. The queen of pentacles, Capricorns have the same card. So maybe some Capricorns are dealing with some Virgos right now, or Virgos are dealing with Capricorns for whatever reason, um, just relative to, um, actual problems, uh, problems with, uh, real estate problems with, uh, money, finances, something like that. Because remember, when this crosses you, generally it's something that's coming in from the outside or it's causing some sort of friction in your life. So there could be friction around somebody that perhaps, um, perhaps they were seeing you because of your money or they were, um, once they got in your good graces and maybe you called them your girlfriend or you called them your boyfriend, the next thing you know, you're paying for everything for them, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars and they do nothing for it. They don't do any work. They make you do all the work. They make you buy everything. They make you do everything. They want to live like a queen, but they don't want to lift a finger. They want to live like a king, but they don't lift a finger. This could actually be going on also at work. So once you got into a certain um, area of work, they want you to do all the work right now, Virgo, and they want they just want to lay back and just have fun with money and, and spend money while you sit there and slave away every day. So that could be what's going on for some of you Virgos. Other Virgos, you might be doing that to somebody else, but I don't really feel that with this. If that does apply to you, please make sure that you put that um, in, in the comments below. But uh, overall, I feel like uh, Virgos, there is definitely something regarding money, regarding a Capricorn Taurus or Virgo female or a Capricorn Taurus or Virgo male, a feminine male, and they may be affecting your life for whatever reason. Um, this could be a homemaker, a mother energy, nurturing energy. So there's something about nurturing energy and mother energy that's crossing you regarding your actual like bank account okay so that is what i am definitely picking up here because the four the four of cups is influencing this particular type of energy so just be aware of that so what do we have going on as it relates to your outcome as it relates to an area of advice for you for the next couple weeks you do have the three of cups what i am sensing here for some of you virgos out there you are deciding to be single you, if you are, um, maybe you were in a relationship with somebody. Now you're just out dating a bunch of, a bunch of women, or maybe you were in a relationship with somebody and now you're out dating a bunch of men, or you're just spending a lot of time with your girlfriends for a lot of you Virgos out there. I just don't think you even really want to be in a relationship right now. And if you are in a relationship right now, there might be something going on regarding some sort of inheritance, um, money, between sisters. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here, but there's something about three sisters, three sisters, three women, um, something like that. But just kind of be aware that there is definitely something coming up here. There could be a party, a christening. There could be a bachelorette party, a bachelor party that you could be going to Virgos. Um, for some of you out there, there could be um, definite uh, uh, child, child, so uh, childbirth could be going on here, or a child was uh, given birth last month, and now you're celebrating some sort of, you know, baptism or christening or something like that. So this is definitely coming up here, and this is what I see. But overall, there is some sort of conclusion regarding 
finding your own value in something or somebody else finding their own value. I just saw some of you Virgos, you're actually going to see your ex out in public with a bunch of other women, or you are going to see your ex out in public with a bunch of other men. Mostly it's going to be, they're going to be surrounded by women. So if you're a Virgo female, it's going to be that the male is surrounded by a bunch of women. If you are a Virgo male, you're going to see the female around with either females and possibly a male. So this is what I am picking up here. But be be prepared uh, for this energy. Um, overall, I mean, I think that you guys, it's it's pretty uneventful, really, um, because you're you're kind of numb right now, and that's okay. So for for the next two weeks, just kind of sit back and and see how you want your future to look. And if you want your future going in this direction, but but the way you can get to your healing, your soulless, your 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 calm, okay, your your area of a happy place is to is to let down that stubborn streak that you developed over a period of time, or or to start to start being a little bit more reciprocal in relationships. Um, I'm not saying that you're not like that, Virgos, but when I say reciprocal in relationships, it's understanding and really respecting what the other person understands and respects. So this is something, it's not you doing all the work. It's not them doing all the work. It's two people working together. It's two companies working together. It's two organizations working together. It's two divisions working together, two friends working together in order to truly appreciate one another and lift one another up to have the highest of heights in success and prosperity. All right, guys, I hope you like this reading. I wish you much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.